This is the solution to leak code problem 1290, convert binary number in a linked list to integer. So it's listed as an easy problem. Okay, given a head, which is a reference node to a singly linked list, the value of each node in the linked list is either zero or one. The linked list holds the binary representation of a number. Return the decimal value of the number in the linked list. So we have a linked list one, zero, one, and if you convert that to that binary representation to base 10, it equals five. So you return five and that's the answer. If it's zero, you return zero, one, return one. If it's something like that, you return that, you get the idea. All right, so we'll create an output uh, variable, start that as zero, and then we'll start a while loop, while head. So while head evaluates to true, we will first do a bitwise shift of output to the left. So we'll shift the bits to the left one. So let's look at how that would work. Let's say our number is three and we shift the bits to the left by one, it jumps to six. So if we look at the binary representation of three, it's one, one, and then we shift the bits over to the left one. So it added a, a zero there, now it's six, okay? So we'll do that shift every loop if head dot val evaluates to true, meaning if it's one, then we wanna do output equals output or one. So what that will do is we've already shifted the bits over one, and then if we take that evaluated bit shift and then compare it to one, it will add a one as the last bit in our binary representation. So it'll increase it basically. So it goes six to seven. So I'll we'll increase that if only if head equals one, Otherwise we just shifted the bits and that's fine. And then we'll reassign head to equal head.next. So that will continue our loop. And as long as head.next equals something, it's not none, then the loop will keep going and then we'll return output. Let's go ahead and submit this. And there you go. That's a solution to solving this problem.